Shaleen worked with us for both of the birth, the births of both of our girls, mm -hmm. and um, she came on pretty late in the game with our first, but gave us excellent support leading up to when our daughter came, and the process in the hospital went so smoothly that the nurses and the hospital told us afterward that it was the most amazing natural birth they had ever seen. Um, and I really contribute that to Shaleen because of the support that she gave us and kept us calm and um, just helped us to get through the quick four hours that we had before Ashley was born. Uh, so I mentioned uh, after our first Halyon was born that um, someone should should start a business uh, for uh, as uh, as a doodla, as a doula for for guys. Be I, I've come to find out that this is actually a thing and it does exist. But um, I remember with our first that Shaleen was just as supportive and worked just as much with me as as she did with Wit almost, and I, I really appreciated that, and um, you can do all the sort of planning and childbirth classes and breathing exercises and, uh, and everything before you do it, but when you get to the hospital, I found with birth plan in hand and we thought we knew everything we wanted to do that, um, uh, that, that, that we were well prepared and obviously, especially with your first we found that quickly to be, everything went out the window, and Shillian was really supportive in the midst of all of the, the hectic um, craziness. Yeah. I also remember that when we showed up to the hospital, we mentioned that we had a doula, and all of the nurses rolled their eyes, and were, uh, you could sort of feel the, the, the sort of registration area deflate as we said we had a doula, which is how I felt about doulas first, actually. And when we then said that it was Shaleen, everyone perked up and everyone was, was excited that, that she was going to be helping us. Well, we were told by the nurses that the first thing they did when we told them that we had a doula is one of them went out into the hall and said to the other one, this is going to be a C-section. Because they made the assumption that when someone comes in wanting to have a natural birth, it's not going to go so well. And that's why it was really... Um, amazing when everything went so well and they said to one another that it was the best natural birth they had seen. And with this one I remember we actually had to be induced with Kella and um, so we had a scheduled time and Shaleen had another person who was supposed to go into labor around the same time but she came out to the hospital early in the morning and the induction process took a long time but Shaleen just camped out and hung out with us and even when things weren't really happening yet, she just kept us company, and she was really a friend. And um, we had a great time in the beginning of the day, I remember, before things really got difficult. And then when they did get difficult, obviously she was amazing support in getting through, which was a painful couple of hours. Um, but I really don't think of Shaleen as just my doula. I think of her as a friend and someone who has developed a relationship with our whole family. And I think that she provides a lot more than just support during labor. She provides um, holistic support just for being a family and growing as a family. And I know that if anything ever came up with our girls or with us as parents, that if we called her, she would do everything she can to help us um, support them. So I'm grateful for that. Shaleen Massey, more than a doula. My favorite memory of Shaleen is when we get to the hospital, we rush inside and she's there ready to change the mood, put on some mood lighting and change the music and just really help you focus. And it's all about you. And she would just apply pressure um, where it needed and her soothing voice, like that was what I really held, um, held on to, to focus through each contraction. And it was, I mean, I could see it, I can hear it even now how, how she helped me guide through that, and that made my experience amazing. So that was my favorite part, is just the change in the atmosphere. One of my favorite experiences with Shaleen, and there were many, um, was our experience of doing birth art. So Shaleen supported my second birth, um, my second child, and so part of what she was able to help me do was to process my first birth 
um, in order to help prepare myself emotionally and spiritually um, for what was going to come for the second. So she took me through this process uh, that was creative and contemplative and, um, and the, it was all about the process of the art, not the outcome of the art. Uh, and through this exercise, she was able to help me think through the things um, that had really stayed with me through the first birth, both the positive things and the negative things. And by helping me talk through that and get in touch with my memories, she was able to help me make room um, for what was to come. And I think she was also able to better support me uh, through that second birth, knowing what my past experiences had been. And so I was very impressed with her ability to connect with me and the way that she was able to engage me in that process. Shalene assisted us with um, the birth of our son. He was our second and she was incredibly instrumental in that process with our first, I had considered um, or considered looked into having a doula and I really didn't know what a doula was and um, didn't get one. Uh, but with our second, I decided I should give it a try and I'm very, very thankful um, that I had known Shalene actually um, prior to this, but I'm um, very thankful for her. It was such a, um, such a sensitive time in someone's life and something that will be memorable no matter what. And I thought I might as well uh, make it, um, see if I could have it um, be even that much more of a positive memory. And for me, what I noticed with the birth of my first was that we had doctors and you have nurses that are there really to assist, assist you in just making sure you have a good, safe birth. Um, but as the mom and the laboring process, I felt like you know, there wasn't maybe someone there as much for me in the process or making it as positive or pleasant of an experience as it could be. Um, of course, I had my husband there, but um, it, it was new to him and he wasn't really sure, you know, what to do or what I needed. And so um, my experience with Shalene, both before the birth was incredible, um, just her coming, meeting with us, talking, uh, helped answer so many questions. Uh, leading up to that then during the birth uh, it turned out of course like births sometimes do a little bit different than uh, we had anticipated so uh, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with Shalene during the birth probably about an hour and a half or um, yeah probably about an hour hour and a half total time with her but it was incredibly worth it um, couldn't have ima couldn't imagine have doing do going through that without her there um, she knew basically kind of just the right things to say, when to say them, what to do, um, ease my mind, really helped ground me uh, through the process. Um, it was a very fast experience. By the time I got to the hospital, um, I was all the way ready to go, but she was um, right there with me and almost kind of kept, kept me sane in a moment where um, I, you know, had a hard time accepting exactly what was going on, uh, but she was able to be there and, and speak in to me. So, um, very much looking forward to if, uh, if a third one ends up being, um, ends up coming about, definitely, definitely will be, um, be getting Shalene again and calling her sooner this time in the, um, labor process, uh, cause she would be, I'm sure, extremely helpful um, going through the laboring part two, but just um, love Shaleen and cannot say enough wonderful things about her and very thankful for what she does. So my experience with Shaleen was great. I mean, you can't say enough good things about her. Um, she was very supportive, very intuitive, very giving, very patient. Um, I love that she's always very calm. Uh, <laughs> that probably leads me into one of my favorite Shalene experiences, which is, you know, um, during the birth, you're not always the most calm and patient, especially this being my first birth. Um, I, you know, was okay and joking through most of it, but there toward the end, at that point where I think most women um, get to the point where they don't think they can do it. And usually that ends up being said, <laughs> at least by myself, um, very close to uh, the end when your baby is just about to arrive. And I remember looking at Shalene and saying, help me. And she just looked at me with a face that was just so calm and a you know, gentle smile and just like, didn't even say anything, but 
just had this look of, you're fine, you can do this, you know you can do this. And whether that's what she meant or not, that's what she portrayed to me. So that helped me to push through um, that last bit of those, I think, I know, umpteen hours of labor. But I mean, through the birthing class, learning so much about all the things I had no idea about, because one of the first things I ever said to Shaleen when I was asking about her services, is that I don't know how to be pregnant. I said, Please help me, I don't know how to be pregnant. <laughs> um, so, I mean, she helped me feel so much more comfortable and confident, and she really helped me to enjoy the birth and to really um, look into myself and what it means to be um, you know, carrying this child and, you know, be, you know, I'm about to become a mother and looking into myself to see that I have what I need to, uh, to go forward with this and to take care of everything I need to take care of and to become a mom. When you have doubts, you know, she's always there to kind of help you to find a way. I'm Sarah, this is Daniel, and this is Elias. And we're just so thankful for having Shaleen be our doula. Um, my labor was really short and pretty easy, but it was great to have her assist us. Um, she helped when I was having pain in my back to do the counter pressure. Um, to know when it was time to go to the hospital, and just even really great about um, when it was time to push, just what to do, and we're just so thankful to have her as our support.